Allah says in the Quran that a day will come when we will ask Jesus, did you tell the people to worship you and your mother besides me? And he will say, no chance, no ways. I didn't say a thing that you didn't instruct me to say. I told them to worship the maker alone, but they started worshiping me and so on. So why does Allah make mention of the mother? وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّي اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّي إِلَهَيْنِ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ the day when Allah will ask Jesus, may peace be upon him, did you tell the people to worship you and your mother? So some of the people say, well, no one worships the mother. No, they do. There are so many factions of the Christians. There are groups that worship both Jesus and the mother. In Islam, any act of worship rendered or when you ask someone something beyond a certain point, it's considered worship. I can ask you, my brother, can you please give me a glass of water? I can see the water, I can see the glass, I can know the ability of this person and so on. That's not worshipping the brother. I'm just simply asking him for something I know that he can actually do right here, right in front of me. But the minute I say, grant me happiness, grant me so on salvation and so on, that's now on a level of worship. That's for Allah alone. You ask Allah, oh Allah, grant me happiness. Oh Allah, grant me cure and so on. That's Allah. That's for Allah alone. So... If you know, in a lot of the churches, and again, the Christians are divided whether or not they should be having statues. Many Christians believe you're not allowed to have statues. The Jews actually believe it's totally forbidden to have statues. And the Muslims believe it's forbidden to have statues just like the Jewish belief. And some of the Christians also believe the same. They don't believe in the cross. Some of the Christians don't believe in the cross. And so what happened? Subhanallah. They put up statues of both Jesus and Mother Mary. And therefore you see in a lot of the churches, there's both those statues. This is what Allah is saying. اِتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ He mentioned both of those. Yourself and your mother. It's not just out of something. People say the Quran is wrong because no one worships the mother of Jesus. No, they do. Maybe you don't know. It's like someone says, well, you know what? We don't know all the sects. Well, I'm telling you, there are sects who worship the mother. They're ghosts. So bottom line is, Jesus taught to worship the maker alone. That's it. And that's why from among the Christians, there are those who don't believe in the Trinity. Did you know that? Yes, they are. From among the Christians, there are those who don't believe the 25th of December is actually the day of Christmas, the day of the birth of Jesus. When I went to Ethiopia, sometime in January, they said, well, this is the birth of Jesus. And they, they were Orthodox Christians. And I got to talk to them and so on. A lot of beautiful detail I learned. Some say, no, it was actually July, August, because that's the time when the date is ripe. And when you shake the tree, it actually falls down. Well, subhanAllah, in Islam, we do not know the exact date. But all we know is the day Jesus was born, blessed day. We're happy. We're excited. He was a messenger. He came about with goodness. He taught the Ten Commandments. We adopt them. We accept them. We acknowledge them. The first one is to worship Allah alone. That's the first commandment. Subhanallah. Not to associate partners with Allah. It's like saying, La ilaha illallah. That's literally the first commandment. May Allah Almighty grant us life upon that and death upon that. Amin.